let's say one day you're chilling at your friend's house and he comes over and he has a chili pepper in his hand and he's like bro i dare you to try this and you're like what today you think about it and you plop it in your mouth and your mouth starts burning it's on fire and you're furious and your friend's like my bad bro i, I gotta go even though we say something is spicy, it's not actually a taste like sweet or sour. Instead, what's really happening is that certain compounds in spicy foods activate the type of sensory neurons called polymodal nociceptors. And you have these all over your body, including your mouth and nose. These are the same receptors that get activated in extreme heat. Capsaicin is a component of chili peppers that makes them spicy and hot by exciting nociceptive neurons. Capsaicin binds to the membrane at the ends of sensory neurons where it's recognized by a specific protein located in the membrane called TRPV1 or transient receptor potential vanilloid 1. TRPV1 is important in the detection of noxious stimuli including abrasion, heat, acids, and vanilloids. The main function of this receptor is not to make us cry when we eat spicy food. Instead, it's involved in body temperature regulation. Scientists know that gene sequences that produce TRPV1 protein vary from person to person, so it could be that certain versions of the receptor are more or less responsive than others. Anyway, TRPV1 is a non-selective cation channel. When it's activated by capsaicin, it allows for an influx of calcium and sodium ions and thus induces depolarization of nociceptive neurons, leading to action potential firing, which causes a signal to be sent to the pain processing centers of the brain. Capsaicin tricks your brain into thinking your mouth is on fire when there's no real heat in the pepper. This sensation of heat, which can range from mild to extremely intense, depends on the concentration of capsaicin. This is why drinking water after eating spicy food often doesn't help. You are not actually cooling down your mouth, you're just spreading this molecule around your mouth even more, which causes more of your pain receptors to go off. In response to this heat, your body tries to cool itself off so you start to sweat and your face turns red, and at the same time, your eyes tear up and your nose runs. This is your body's way of removing the threat. When we eat spicy food, our brain is being fooled into thinking that we're hurting ourselves, and we release our body's natural painkillers, endorphins, in the same way we would if we actually had been injured. Endorphins, as well as diminishing the perception of pain, are also known to induce feelings of well-being and euphoria, and can reduce stress and enhance our feelings of pleasure, and can even have a sedative effect. These pleasurable effects from endorphins release are why we enjoy spicy foods. When we consume them, even though we perceive them as mildly painful, we are being rewarded by triggering the release of endorphins, which makes us feel good. This creates euphoria similar to a runner's high. Spice tolerance depends on how much you use your TRPV1 receptor. Because neurons don't like being overstimulated, when we habitually eat a whole bunch of spice, these receptors are desensitized and downregulated. As people eat spicy food more regularly, they literally aren't feeling as much burn. You know that guy on YouTube who like eats spicy wings with other celebrities while he asks questions? Do not be impressed. He's not all that. He can tolerate it. He's been practicing. There's so many videos. I think he has tons of practice. Here's a little scenario. Let's say you ate the hottest chicken wing ever because your friend dared you to try it. Now your mouth is burning and you run over to the fridge and you open it up and you see water or milk. Which one are you grabbing? If it's water, that's wrong. Capsaicin has a hydrocarbon tail, meaning that oily or soapy compounds can act as a detergent to dissolve capsaicin, but water cannot. This is the main reason why drinking water after eating spicy food simply increases the heat. But milk contains a protein called casein. Casein is a lipophilic, which means it's attracted to capsaicin in the same way detergents are attached to fat molecules. This means that as soon as you drink milk, the capsaicin molecule attaches to the fat-loving casein molecule, and this detaches it from the TR 
PV1 receptors and thereby reducing the sensation of heat.